My father uh, was the uh, was graduated from a technical school out in Gretna, Gretna, Virginia. He was the second Af black. We, you know, we call, went through the series of mm -hmm. colored Negro, black African American. But anyway, so he was the second admitted to uh, work as a postal in the post office in Virginia. He was a railway mail clerk. And he also was an entrepreneur because when you, uh, the kind of job that he had on the trains, you see he worked on the trains. And uh, so he also uh, had other businesses too. And how much, uh, how far did he go as far as his education was concerned? Well, that institute was, I guess as far, it was, beyond, it was past high school, it was, and then he met my mother, who in Virginia, in Danville, Virginia, because how they met, I don't remember what they said. But anyway, she was graduated from Hampton Institute in 1911. And, and that, I mean, that's unusual for, for in those days, for m most African-American women did not have the opportunity, let me put it that way, to graduate from college in 1911. Well, it may have been considered, may have been un unusual, except that in our family it was not considered unusual. Because my, my, uh, always from the focus, there was no question but that you were going to get a college degree and you were going to go beyond. And that was the only question that I had. Uh, no, none of us ever had any question in terms of my brothers and sisters that we were going to college. We, that was an obligation. And for me, I didn't have it. Um, uh, that was Hampton and Howard and all, but because my mother had graduated from Hampton and because some of the other members of the family were associated with Hampton, then I, was go I went to Hampton and my brother, I think we have three or four of us who are Hampton. And your, uh, your mother uh, became a teacher? Became she became a teacher and she taught until uh, she, 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 they were married uh, they, I think she taught for probably the first year, but then, of course, after I was born, she was a homemaker from then on. Mm -hmm. And uh, had eight children, wasn't she? Yes, yes. Uh, two of whom were deceased. My, they, my baby, Virginia, died when she was nine. Mordina, who was her, completed her first year of, of college at Shaw, contracted pneumonia and died when she was 20. And because she died the same month that I entered Howard Law School in 1944. Mm -hmm. So there were six of us who were, the, the picture is, is around, and most people know of, most of the people who know the six of us. Tell me about what kind of person your mother was. Very much involved, very active as an alumnus of, of Hampton, and uh, very much involved in the community. She. Probably uh, our home was sort of a home for anybody who that they liked that that needed to get to college. My mother got helped them get scholarships and all, and she was also involved in the YWCA, an organization called the Tents, which I don't know exists now, but it's a women. It's I guess comparable to the Eastern Star or something like that. She was very active in that. She loved to cook, and she taught me to cook, and she, and our home also was one in which, because of the number of children there, there were others who, who were, if there was an only child down there, usually they landed at, at, at usually at our home, because they liked that, because they knew where we were. And what kind of man was your father? The same kind of personality. There's pictures is over there. His pictures over there. Mm -hmm. uh, he was. Uh, he, my father was, I said, we never really appreciated, you know, we said that when he died, because he insisted that first of all, as my grandfather did, there's no excuse for not having what you need, because you have to work at it, and save your money, use it well, manage it, do your homework, do your work. That's. In fact, all of the things that guide me now, I learned from my parents.